Um, go ahead and see it for everybody. Um, drop this. Hold on. No, no, stop, stop. There we go. Okay, we're about to go ahead and watch it. Ooh, in 2K, hell yeah. Here we go. Um, we will see what this game has to offer. Hopefully, it's good. Uh, I have I have not seen this, by the way. I have not seen this at all. So here we go. And oh, let's let's do a bigger let's do a bigger version. Let's, let's, let's do this. How's this? How's this for everybody? We good? I think we good. All right, let me shut the fuck up and let's start this thing. All right, give it your best shot. You have no idea what you have done. The blighted elven gods walk free, all because you disrupted my ritual. You battle against right gods. After. They will not rest until you are on your knees. Morgan! Fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. I'll say something. We'll analyze it after this. Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. So clever, adaptable. And you don't know when to quit. Rare moment, it's a white dude. Rare you moment. Allies to go after the gods. I've got places to look. Where do we start? I'll be damned. A griffin. In war, victory. I'm ready. I've never seen this before. There's something kind of exciting about it. What? What is happening to me? What is that? Let the fade draw close. Draw the dragon out into the open. Then attack. You and me. That's her voice. Maybe that's what scares me. These are the times in which Morgan. legends are born or slain. Our gods are back. Our gods. How do we stand against that? Great wardens, maybe? In all of us. So let's get it done. That's his character. Executions. Yeah, there seem to be a lot of large go uh, gods in here. pre-order with a blood dragon cosmetic that's a classic all right we need to talk we need to talk why the fuck didn't you bust out this trailer in the beginning throw your pr team out the fucking do window throw them all out the people that did all that cgi with the music they don't know your audience throw them all out if it was you bioware throw yourself out the window okay Throw yourself out the window. This was way better than anything that you've ever shown. Anything that you've ever shown. I'm not going to lie to you. You, you see me, how, how usually I was negative, now I'm positive. I will go back and forth. I don't give a fuck if I go back and forth. I go by what I see. I did not see too much on the gameplay though. I saw executions though. I will keep it real. I did not see gameplay. That is the biggest thing that you need to put into like your trailers and stuff. That that's the biggest thing. This does really good. And you guys have mentioned story, 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 but you got to put into, you got to put your gameplay in 
because people are going to look at this and be like, wow, this looks cool. What do you do in the game? Uh, and people are going to go by like action. And I guess that's why you did the whole action thing because you wanted to appeal, appeal to a broader audience. This is going to be a okay game for most people. Uh, I, it, it's, it looks to be okay. October 31st. I know why they chose October 31st because they want to stay way away from the fucking, um, they want to stay way away before all the political bullshit happens. Um, before the, um, election, that's why they chose October 31st. Like they could have gone further, but they're like, ah, let's do it before, before November. That's why they did it on the 31st. That that's probably the smartest that they they've ever done it. Like that's probably, it's probably for the best if they're going to do it this year. Um, but yeah, that's why they chose it. We're going to, um, this should have, uh, been the reveal trailer. The music in this trailer gives me chills. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, Cross, how you doing? Better trailer, but still not sold. Yes. You need to show gameplay, need to show gameplay. And you did not show that much. Um, better trailer, but the game is still the same until proven wrong. That's I can, I, yeah, I can go in agreement. Let's chop this whole thing down. We now see Morrigan now, so let's start from the beginning. Better music, better pizza, Papa John's. I mean, I, I will give him credit where credit is due. Ew. This is actually showing, l let's give them props for showing a white man. I thought that they would never do that shit. They're over here just like, all right, we'll give, we'll throw them a bone. Um, this is probably you entering the fade. It looks like you have some rags on your level one. You're talking to Solus and he's pissed off. Um, yeah, you're in the fade. Yeah, you're in the fade. I have no idea what you have done. Yeah, this is right here. You're talking to Solus and he's just like, what the fuck, bro? The blighted elf and gods walk free. All because you disrupted my ritual. Now, this is what we've already seen. It's also clear that they were trying uh, with this trailer. Uh, you, Your uncle shows for literally less than a second. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, I'll give him a solid W on this trailer. I'm not going to lie. Who's romancing hardcore mode's uncle? Y'all need to shut the fuck up. Y'all ain't going to be my... You battle against gods. They will not rest and... Okay, that's Morgan's voice, and I think it's actually the same voice actress. Um, the facial features and the armor really looks nice. There's actually some callbacks to this armor, where it gives it its... Uh, um, some of this, this armor almost looks like the armor from the previous games. So I'll give them uh, props to that. The animations do look clean. Hopefully it's indicative of the actual game. This is not just some... Oh, it's going to change when it comes out, but I don't see any signature on any, anything. Nothing saying like, oh man, we'll wait until the game's finished. No, I think they're gold. Until you are on Two months. By the way, can I say something? Two months, man. The game's coming out in two months. What did they got? So I, I heard that they got a roadmap. Is that true? We will look at this roadmap, but I'm going to be honest with you. They should have busted out this. They first of all, you don't need no fucking roadmap. Stop with the roadmaps on a single player game. Why are you doing a roadmap on a single player game? Pop out things. You know how great it feels when Elden Ring just pops a fucking trailer or a FromSoft or some other developers pop up off something out of fucking nowhere and people are just like, what the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? Oh my God. You know how good that feels? But roadmaps is just like, well, I'm expecting something tomorrow. And then in a week, I'm expecting, see people now are expecting things now. You see what I'm saying? Which one feels better to you? The, the random, oh bro, did you see this? And you're like, what, what? Let me go see. I can't wait to get home. Or do you want the, oh yeah, it's, 12 p.m. Eastern time. 
is gender mancy in this game <laughs> yes it is yes it is uh you make sure you click your pronouns on your knee we got some sort of uh abomination He's fearful um that person hugging that obviously clearly in the in the in the fade somebody's not doing so well i love the facial expressions on some of the characters um i actually like the facial expressions on the main character more than i like the expressions on the other characters because the other characters are just like what's happening but the main character is like this place has to this the madness has look at the main character the main character has this perfect face like this madness has to stop meanwhile your 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 other companions are like what oh uh? and at the same time also why is there three companions on the screen you want to tell me that why are there three companions on the screen what get harding out of here what what, what are we doing we can only have two companions, don't you understand? Uh, Dragon Age has always been a uh, three-person squad. Everybody knows that. It's not even a squad. That's like a team. Like, a, a, like that's a fucking... That's, a, that's not even a squad right there. What, three people? That's not a squad. Are you kidding me? Uh, four to f five is a squad. Maybe ten. Uh, well, ten is like a... Uh, uh, but what's, a what's a battalion? Uh, anyway, the three, three sucks. Uh, but yeah, too many people. Too many people. Gotta throw one out. Guest companions, so they have the ability to bring another person in, but they won't. Cowering. Looks like there's some action going on with another. The the abomination has a, a unique style, but it seems like it's a boss. So. Helpless in the face of such power. It looks like to me somebody somebody conjured somebody to appear and it looks like some grave wardens i don't think that yeah if you look there's the sigil right there the sigil right there ah yeah the two griffins that is the grave wardens right there the two griffins with the sword in the middle that's the grave wardens they're probably dealing with the blight helpless in the um, that person gets summoned in. It might be uh, one of the the uh, evil prince uh, elves. Face of such power. Slow magic. This dragon runs around. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. This dragon does not have any unique features. Nice horns, but. Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. You're clever. Adaptable. I'm still confused about Varric saying, um, I've seen your work. You're adaptable. Like, uh, you, you'll be useful. You might make a good leader. What did you do around the moment that you met Rook? What did Rook do? I am so curious as for why Varric said, yeah, you'll be the leader when it would make sense that Varric would be a lead. I think Varric would make a great leader. I mean, he's been looking for Solus this whole time. He has the determination factor. So why would, what did Rook do that said, that said, oh yeah, he's the leader. Also, who is Rook? You know what I mean? Who is like, Rook? why, why would your Rook save the day is the big question. Why? Well, Rook's just at the bar, like, I am so ready. Ooh, I'm so ready to save the world. Ooh, ooh, bro. If you made, oh, if somebody walks through that fucking door and said, I'm looking for a leader for the Veil Guard. Oh my God. I know it's random in my head, but oh, I would totally do it, bro. It's got to be something where it makes sense. You can't just have some random dude fighting some p people in the bar and saying, you want me to do what? Save the world? My schedule's open. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> because he wants to, said the dead. <laughs> uh, 
Um, Harding looks like she got beat up. I think Harding went through some bullshit. I don't know what, but apparently her face ain't doing so well. We'll see more of that in a minute. Um, the facial expressions on the, on the veil jumper looks a little bit better. Um, yeah, a, a little bit better because you're literally about to fight a dragon. So yeah, you need to kind of have that face. You don't know when to quit. Yeah, it's just weird that Rook is the only one making the perfect face around here. The term, the de like the determination face is so perfect, and everybody else's face is just like. Anyway, moving on. You want ally? Okay, so this is some casual gear, I guess. It, it's all right. It's fine. I to go off to the god. Um. We're just gonna have to rely on mods for Neve. Mods, get to work. Mods, get to work. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, what other mods would I like? Yeah, if you could throw out the uh, the pronoun shit and put male and female instead of a a like a body and b body, I would definitely donate to you. All right, cool, awesome. Yeah. Be done in like a week? Shoo! I might play this game. Yeah, like I've got places to look. A little bit more out there. But we so we remember this place. It's uh, yeah, we, we remember this place. Looks like he plays as a tank. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, where do we start? This area is really nice, but I am 100% sure that you're not going to be able to go to the ground floor. You could probably walk through those areas where the uh, pillar things are and then probably get inside that building, but getting to the flat surface. I don't think this is open area. They've said time and time again, this is not an open area game. The mod will last for like five minutes on a Nexus mods. Oh, you know, that's why you don't go to Nexus mods anyway. Um, but yeah, yeah. I'm tired of Nexus mods pulling that shit. You should be able to do whatever mods you want, except the children mods. I've seen you Hogwarts legacy. I've seen you. That's where we, that's where we fucking draw the line. Okay. That's where we draw the fucking line. Aries are going to be smaller than Inquisition. Probably true. Yeah, probably true. I'll be damned. Um, character's design is really nice. I, I do like Davrin. Davrin's uh, suit. There's the griffin. Um, his design is very well done. Don't know about the cape though. I think Davrin's gonna be well loved. Nice voice actor. Um, these monsters look like husks from Mass Effect. Very well done. War. Oh, she he just saved a, a black child. Sticking to the formula, Davrin. Victory. Griffin dropping. I wonder if the Griffin gets any bigger later on. Kind of like Owl Cat with the dragon and shit. Oh no. It looks like she was dropping a, uh, what's it called? Uh, putting a smack down on a necromancer of some kind. Um, here's everybody's romance coming in. I mean, he's got the edgelord wings. These are the, um, what are they called? The, um, uh, they're called the fucking, God, what are they called? They're not called the mage killers. They're called God, man. There, there's a it's a secret organization called the um. Well, look, you know what? Look it up.
the crows. No, 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 the no. Assassin lore. No, not those. Are they referred to as assassins? I don't know. The crows? Antivan crows. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's the Antivan crows. I mean, it makes sense. He's got the fucking wings right in front of me. Thank you. Um, it looks like we have some sort of, I mean, it's a simple fight right here. Um, facial expressions on this man, really well done. Yeah, really well done. Um, I like how these guys are, these guys are just standing there. I've never seen this before. It looks like she has gauntlets that are... Probably very, very important to the whole story. Um, God, I'm wondering to myself, like, she must be an archaeologist or something like that. She's called the Veil Jumper, but there's a reason why she does it. And I take it she does it for knowledge. But let's see what she's doing. She looks like she's looking for this thing right here. Something kind of like this thing right here, I'm not sure if it's it's probably tied tied to those uh, alluvians, maybe, but I'm not quite sure. I could say those gauntlets look just like that artifact right there. I don't know what that means. We'll see. Exciting about it. They of course had to have an Asian uh, person to voice act an Asian. You know how Asians are. A, when you answer when somebody answers answers the phone and you hear them through the phone and you're like sorry you know i i don't want what you're selling and then you hang up and then you know that was a weird ass asian that just called me how did you know they were asian on the phone how would you know when when i call people that i don't know or like when you know call certain businesses i come up and see them and they're just like whoa i didn't know you were like black or something like that i don't really fucking care i'm not fucking i don't get butt hurt over that shit but i always think that the whole idea of having the same exact kind of color for a certain character i don't give a fuck but they give a fuck but I, yeah, I don't give a fuck. What what sort of stuff are you going to bring to the table? Unless you're like doing some sort of San Andreas thing, you would need somebody to have that sort of hip sort of that time era sort of sound to them. So whoever can do that, you hire them. But for this uh, instance, in case it's just like the, the lady speaking as this character is Asian, but they also could be white if you didn't know if you didn't know i know who it is they go to fucking critical role and shit i know who it is but anybody that doesn't know is fucking you, you just don't know people are gonna be like who's this white lady speaking you wouldn't know unless like the fucking the fucking elf chick just comes out of nowhere and be like, yeah, I found an artifact. Let's get out of here, G. Then, then we, then we have a, then we can have a conversation. Then we can have a conversation. But I, I, I just don't like it when they fucking toot their horn and shit. And they're just like, girl, I got a job for you. Can you voice act an Asian? I, in fact, not only can voice an Asian... Amazing. The dark spawns look uh, too cartoony for me. They do look like cartoony, though. They're um, I'm gonna tell you right now, the dark spawn or these uh, monsters. I don't like their animations. They could have been uh, well done, but uh, 
you know, let's keep on going. This part right here, I don't know what the hell's going on with Harding. I honestly don't care. Well, no, I do care. I, I kind of want to know. I'm kind of curious as to what this whole petrification thing is with her. Uh, I, it, it seems to only happen to Harding. I wonder if it's going to happen to anybody else. Are you making Harding have this sort of weird power? Because are, are you giving Harding some weird power? For story purposes, or the fact that Harding is literally just a simple dwarf who used to be in the Inquisition. She's just a simple woman with a simple life, and you just threw in some superpower out of nowhere on Scout Harding, and you're just like, girl boss power. Nice. Awesome. Girl boss. She she can she can petrify uh she you guys don't need me. You guys got Scout Harding. You don't need me. What what does my character do? I only can do one ability. Sorry, three abilities. Scout Harding can petrify Darkspawn. You don't need me. What is happening to me? This part right here, I'm not sure if she got grabbed or taken or something, but I feel like that they gave her this power because they, uh, she, I don't know, because she's already got a full story on her and now they're just like, we got to make her interesting. Burn, bitch. Boom. You got powers. <laughs> like she's already interesting. Uh, have we seen this picture before? Um... Uh... Hardy is getting uh this hard. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this suit right here for this old dude is really nice. That hairstyle though, this whole face thing, looking really weird. Also, his head is a little bit bigger than his whole body. Let the fade draw. That is a really, really, really cool looking boss. How, how are you gonna fight this boss? Wait, wait a minute. Okay, you've been fighting all these large-ass gods. I'm not seeing an enemy here. I'm not seeing an enemy that's like... I don't know, I'm not... Has anybody seen an enemy in this trailer? Because I'm looking for a, a villain. And you threw Solus out. Solus had a compelling sort of story with a, a villain arc that was like his entirely his own. Now all I see that we're fighting is some bad little blood mages with and, and the rest are just monsters. So you're just out there monster slaying. I haven't heard one villain in this whole thing except Solus saying, what have you done? I have I'm not seeing... I don't even think I saw the elven like evil go uh, gods. I think I did, but they weren't able to, s they didn't say anything. I have yet to see anybody just coming out and saying like, thank you for freeing me. Now, do you wish to join me or should I crush you now? Or something like that, something like that. All I'm seeing is a whole bunch of heroes running around, uh, slapping up enemies and a big monsters big dragons and they're just and they just appear and then you gotta kill it and then once after you're done killing it who's who where's the conversation going i feel like that there's i i, I feel like looking at this story i don't have a sense of a villain here it feels like we uh solace opened the floodgates i accidentally fucked it up uh there's nothing here for like an actual villain now for dragon age now now i don't know they could show a little bit that that that's it they don't have to show us that much like for dragon age origins you're taking care of the blight so when it comes to the dark spawn dark spawn don't want to fucking talk to you okay the arch demon don't want to talk to you so you're taking care of that sort of thing but there's some cool kings and and yarls and like different uh, stories that you could like literally see when it comes to the Dalish. Uh, hell, the the dwarves. There's a whole freaking political intrigue with the dwarves. Like something show that. You know, I'm looking for the human element, but all I'm seeing is 
holy shit wow pizzazz Ooh, this is happening we got to take care of this giant skelly welly you know what i mean we got to take care of this giant skeleton oh look a dragon gotta take care of that dragon we're not gonna have any conversation with villains except me because Solus is going to be in my brain like Johnny Silverhand, and he's going to be like, this is all your fault. This is all your fault. This is all your fault. And I'm like, he's going to follow me everywhere I go. And uh, wherever Solus is, he's just going to follow me like, hey, uh, Rook, how you doing? I know you've been playing this game for, what, 20, 20 hours now? I just want to let you know, uh, this is all your fault. And I'm like, bro, what sort of developing conversation can you have with Solus? You want to know the funny thing about Solus? Here we go. You want to know the funny thing about the whole Solus thing? You remember when they said something like, this isn't about Solus. This is about you and your characters. They're putting so much emphasis on your own companions and characters that they not only deleted like Solus, but they also kind of, there's no, it feels like there's no actual enemy. Like you're just out here being Ghostbusters. You know what I mean? We're focusing on your characters and your companions. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because looking at this trailer, I'm just like, I don't see no villains. I'm just hanging out with my boys. I don't, I don't see no villain. They threw out the cool villain. They threw, they threw that motherfucker off, off a of fucking, they're over here talking about if you want to be friend soulless, if you want to throw him out the, you know, throw him out a window. No, bitch, you throw him out the window. You didn't give me that choice. I wanted to throw soulless out of a window. You said, got it, son, and then did it for me. Now I'm just like, the motherfucker is either dead or I'll never see him again. I, I don't know. He's somewhere probably in the veil or the fade. So you took that option. And here's another thing. <laughs> they said that this isn't about Solus. And at the same time, this motherfucker over here is it the game director or the creative designer, whatever. He said something like, as you progress through the game, you start to know Solus a little bit more. I thought this was about my companions and my characters. You said you th uh, this isn't about Solus. So why am I talking to Solus? W which one is it? Am I? Is Solus important or not? Well, Solus isn't important. Okay, all right, throw him out. But he's going to follow you. So somebody who's not important, like you just said, is following me. So I got a hey, listen guy right behind my ear. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, bro. I wanted a whole villain thing with you, but the developers threw you out, out of the window. And I'm sorry, man. I was waiting on you. Uh, you know, I've been a big fan. I wanted to see what would happen, but they decided yip, and threw you to the side. But I'm going to concentrate on all my characters and companions because the developers wants me to romance each and every one of them and have some sort of weird sort of sense eight orgy. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I have to focus on them. And it, and then Solus is just like, well, do you want to focus on what's going on in Tevinter or Ferelden or what's going on with the people over in Minrathis? Nah, they don't matter. They don't matter. I got to focus on my companions. And, uh, you know, if I don't like what they like, then they'll D level. This is the true thing, by the way. If they said to, they said it, and this is what they said. They said, if you disagree or if you come into bad terms with your allies and they disagree with you enough, not only will they de-level because this is how they level your character levels by fighting monsters, your allies fight, uh, level up by relationship points. So if you dislike somebody like, let's just say, um, Let's just say you're hanging out with Harding and Harding seems cool 
and she seems like a nice person. You're like, oh, I know Harding. She's cool. All right, she's all right. I'll, I'll give her some relationship points. I agree on what Harding says. She's a nice person. Neve comes up. You don't know Neve. Neve comes up. You have a little conversation, and you're like, I want to bring up Neve's uh, companion, uh, you know, relationship points. So I'm just gonna agree with what she says. She kind of aligns with what I what I believe when it comes to uh, the story in Dragon Age Veilguard. Vale and then Neve says out of nowhere. That's why we got to kill children. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, what, Neve? Yeah, um, that's why we need to kill the children. I don't know, something, something that you would disagree with. Because when it comes to all of your companions in any sort of game, you're going to find that one companion that you don't give a fuck about. Not only do you not give a fuck about them, you don't like them, you don't put them into the party, you haven't leveled them, you haven't given them new gear. So you're going to find that one companion <laughs> that you don't like, and they could leave but they always come back because the developers said, and I'm just, it's kind of weird that they said, it's all about your companions. And here I am just not giving a fuck about one of them. Am I going to get penalized for not liking everything? Like all my companions. I'm wondering about that. Like the characters. I'm wondering, I'm wondering at the end of the game, it's going to be completely decided like the elven dark lord gods or whatever are going to be like, I am going to kill you with the magic ability, but first I will kill your friends first. But each friend is like, I survive because we have a bond, Rook. I survive. And then that one nigga you don't like <laughs> is just like, boom, he explodes. And I'm just like, is that going to be bad or does he just die? I, I don't I don't know. Is that bad? Am I supposed to like all of them? So, I don't know. I'm just making up shit. They said this is about the companions. So, I'm just like, could that happen? Nah. My my brain is over here making up shit. But I'm like, nah, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> like, the, I get a bad ending. I get a really bad ending because I didn't like all of my companions. That's what I'm worried about. I really hope that's not the case. I, I am just speculating, obviously. I really hope that's not the case. Well, since you didn't like Frederick, I guess the Fade shall come to you. And then the Fade just takes over the world and shit because I didn't like that one guy named Fred. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. The dragon out into the open. Okay, it looks like, uh, she's speaking, um, Uncle Cory. Is that her voice? Draw the dragon out into the open. Then attack. Wow, wow, that's, a uh, deep and riveting, like, uh, she's a dragon slayer, and she's like, draw... Draw the dragon out into the open and then attack. And I'm like, no way. No fucking way. You are definitely a dragon slayer. Awesome armor, though. You are really interesting building. Draw the dragon out into the open. Then attack. Really, really like this uh, view. Really do. They, they do a good job at lighting. I'll give them that. A nice foggy area. I wonder what this area is. I'm not qu completely sure. You and me work. Maybe. Okay, so you're having a romance with her. Who, whoever did this? Why did you choose her? Maybe that's what scares me. Actually, I'm I'm actually surprised. Wait, wait, no, no, no. I, I take back what I just said. I'm surprised at this trailer that they would be like, not only are we gonna put a white dude as the main character, we're gonna make him like women. <laughs> are are we allowed to do that? And she came out as a crow. She is a shapeshifter, of course. Wait, let me see her design, Morgan. These are the top. That's her design. Not bad. It's all right. I do love the chess piece. The chess piece is all. Is that Flemeth's crown? That's Flemeth's crown. Also, she hasn't aged. Yo, she fucking became. 
two things could have i think it's i think morgan devoured her mother i think morgan devoured her mother and is now just like Fle flemeth or flemeth is morgan it could be either one of the two i i could it's one of the two that's all i know she looks stunning as fuck the outfit could use some work because look at the outfit look, look the the I'm, I'm gonna be honest she looks great and like when it comes to the facial features her tits are a lot bigger you need to fix that bioware uh you know what i'm gonna just talk to the mods mods get to work here's another one right over here yeah uh morgan yeah 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 also tell her can you get rid of her pants and just leave the leather you know leave some thigh meat yeah, just get rid of the pants. The, the leather's fine. Yeah, yeah, you should, too too much, too much. Um, but look, she's got silk in the middle. She's got feathers around her shoulders, and she's got leather e everywhere. And I'm looking at this. Well, they missed their chance to give Morgan like some some black nails. I mean that that this is this is prime why is it that the the big titty goth chick that is no longer a big titty goth chick is is covered in brown gray white and then red out of fucking nowhere with some black feathers you guys need to figure out what the fuck you're doing with this costume the middle piece on her chest is perfect with the with the thing right here on her th that's what she had in the in the past you need to figure out what you need to do. Why is it that I'm the straight person, but I know what to do about color? Because this right here is too much. Okay, the crown, good. The hair, you should have put that hair down. Why do you got the hair up in a bun like she's fucking Leia from Star Wars? Bring that shit down. She's, she's fucking powerful like Morgan. She should have her hair down like Yennefer. She should be looking stunning, stunning as fuck. But you put her hair up into a bun? The fuck's wrong with you? That's your, this is your moment. You bust out Morgan and she got her bund hair she needs to have her hair out she needs to have black feathers and crows surrounding her in a nice black gown and she can have the black and the red with the with the fur shit you can have the fur shit but she should have like some nice like looking sandals and shit she should look, look look like she's been doing fine dining in in dubai or something like that not silk gold black fur brown leather silver fucking fucking what it, 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 are those pants that i wear at work and then brown leather pants what are we doing i'm the straight one and i know more about costumes than you do i know more about color than you do her face looks nice can we romance her is I don't, I don't, you're, you're probably going to get killed. If you romance Morgan, you're most likely going to be, um, enslaved or, or killed, which us normal men don't really give a fuck as long as we hit, as long as we hit anyway. Times in which legends are born. Oh, this is a better picture. So we can see her. Uh, a little bit closer yo up the booby slider what the what the hell are you guys doing it's like you so it's like you started off at the big one and you're like oh too much whoever just said too much and put that booby slider down i want to go inside bioware and just run up and slap them in the back of the fucking head because that's prime real estate you just missed out on that's prime real estate you just missed out on some if, if it was probably not a discussion probably was probably was but somebody said it's a little bit too much shut the fuck up you don't know what you're talking about you know who's primarily going to play your game men there's going to be a lot of women but it's mostly going to be men i'd say about 30 percent women mo the rest are going to be men you're going to have to deal with that issue all on your own it's just how it is. Men primarily play video games. Trust me. I've had multiple girlfriends 
all of them are just like, why are you playing video games? It, it is what it is. To be fair, Morgan was always flat as fuck. That is a fucking lie, Cross. That is a goddamn lie. That is a goddamn lie. Cross, you know so much about KOTOR, but you don't go, you don't know nothing about titties. You don't know nothing about <laughs> But yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's silk, leather, gold, black, leather, brown, silver, leather, silk, gold. So you got, you got silver with the gold chain around the neck. She's got the gold thing that she's always had. And you put silver on her arm and on her legs. What the hell's wrong with you? I know more about color than you do. And I don't even work there. God Lord. Morgan looks nice. Fix her hair. Let it go down. Mods, can you work on this? You can? You're already on the works? We're good. I'm going to wait until the mods come out. Or slave. Um, Morgan, what are you doing with the necromancer? Wait. These are the times in which legends are born. Love her voice. Lame. Okay, so she's saving him. It looks like she's doing lightning. It's too late, by the way. It's it's gonna come out in October. Everything's done. So everything that I'm saying, I'm just saying, mods, can you handle it? Who? Cool. Hold on. I want to look at this animation that's a lot These better. Are the times in which legends are born or slain. Is this? Oh, these are um, Antivan crows again. Okay, so, so these are two Antivan crows right here. Whipping, the, uh, whipping these motherfucking asses over here. So that's a woman and that's a man, Antivan crow. You can romance the Antivan crows. It's totally going to happen. Actually, these are the same Antivan crows that were in the comic book. Yo. It's the same two Antivan crows that were in the comic book with Varric and Harding. Yo, let me romance that one chick. Let me let me romance the one Antivan crow chick. And I don't want to hear anything about like, sorry, me and the male Antivan crow, we're a package deal. And I'm like, then bitch, get the fuck out of my face. Get, get out of here. But you need us. No, I don't. Package deal. What the fuck? It, you, you ever get free food from a restaurant and they're like, oh, you can keep. He's like, uh, sir, this is not my food. Oh, sorry. Here's your food. You can keep that one. And I'm like, I don't want this fucking salad. Well, I asked for steak. Sorry, this is not my food. I didn't want a salad. Oh, sorry. Here's your steak. You can keep the, the, the salad. I don't want the fucking salad. <laughs> I don't want the fucking salad. I'm just going to throw it away. <laughs> if there's a moment in the game where the devs are like, you could only save one of these two Antivan crows. <laughs> and the, and the male Antivan crows just like, he, he nods to me. In, in in agreement because he would do the same thing and he doesn't say a word he's just like you do what needs to be done and i shed one tear and i'm just like and i pick up the one bitch and run away <laughs> you do what needs to be done <laughs> this is a really good yeah. one really good animation with uh facing all these enemies and two that fucking outfit of those Antivan crows better be available for rogues. I'm telling you, right, get if you show off this armor set for the Antivan crows and you don't give it to rogues, you're a fucking asshole. I'm just saying. The look, look at this shit. Okay, so we got some weird, um, we got the mage killer, uh, hand to hand fighting what looks like um the one magic school bus bitch um i don't know why he's struggling she's literally i mean come on dude i mean come on L let's be honest here 
work. Uh, little skele skeleton dude. I heard the skeleton dude is being played by Matt Mercer. Uh, every RPG, uh, Matt Mercer just appears. I don't know if Matt Mercer is the one calling or it's the developers calling. All I gotta say is I want to hear new voices. I want to hear new voices. I love Matt Mercer. I think he's great. I think his team is great, but I want to hear new voices. I'm tired of always saying, is that Troy Baker? Is that Matt Mercer? Is that what? And I'm just like, I want to hear new voices. I want to hear new people because there's a lot of people on TikTok that like do voice acting. And I wish that they were in this thing, but they keep going like, Hey guys, you know, Matt Mercer. And I'm like, stop king dangling. You can put whoever the hell you want. Uh, skeleton leader, uh, not, not leader, but skeleton dude. That's, uh, the one guy right there. Um, mm, it looks like they're all bowing to that creature. Okay. Interesting. Then assuming good track, direct control in this form. Let me check out that look again. Red lyrium shenanigans. Yep. Really good facial animation for this one. More of this, please. More of this. It, it's a small trailer, so we're not gonna see all, everything per like perfect. Oh, God. That's a, that, now that's a fucking cool looking dragon. There we go. How do we stand against that? I believe in all of It looks like, is that your main character? No, 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 no. Neve is in here, clearly. I, I, I'm starting, I'm, I'm warming up to the armor. I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of warming up to the armor, but, uh, this man right here, the red eyes, I think it might be related to blood magic. It is not your character. It is somebody else. I thought it was, but it's not, um, he's trying to go for a fist bump, but she's just like hard pass. So let's get it. Um, Okay, so you're here with Davrin. Uh, I'll, I'll admit that armor does have like a Caesar look to it. Now that is some fucking cool ass armor. An execution right here. Wait, wait, you got this big ass armor on? It, oh, it must be medium armor. Yeah, it must be medium armor. Yeah, it's not, it's not a, it's not light armor. Um... Kind of. It, it, it was fine. Uh, the execution was okay. I'm not sure who he's reaching for, but looks to be... You need to show a little bit more gameplay, by the way. Because people are going to look at this and see that one execution, and they're just going to be like, Is this the game? Is this the game? Is this the game? I'm like, I, I don't know what to tell you, Timmy. I, this is a story trailer. You're going to have to go on the gameplay trailer where they show a little bit of, of gameplay. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure who that is. It looks like a skeleton of some type. This was cool. This was dope. These are all the bosses you'll face. They'll shield bash and needs a little work, but it's all right. You make me fight two giant ass dragons, I'll buy the game. Because those two dragons remind me of, if anybody has ever played Monster Hunter Worlds, that's the blue one is Lanastra and the red one is Teostra. So, uh, yeah, l l let us fight two dragons. Now, these two designs of dragons, a lot better. Now you can tell a distinct dragon from a dragon. Not those dragons that you always see wearing the same horns, and they're just like, ooh, I'm a dragon. You need to have distinct dragons, not these. And when they show up, they show up. You know what I mean? When they show up, it looks like there's also a, a ballista. It looks like there's a fortification behind there yeah okay all right 31st i i'm a little sold but i definitely want to wait until mods i'm a little bit more sold to it that's a lot better 
that was a lot better. I'm not going to lie. Let's read what chat has to say. Uh, most of this is from YouTube. I, I need to put a YouTube chat on there. I only have, I only have uh, the other one. It's like, why couldn't we get Arashok looking companion for a Canari? Like, damn hard. Is that yes? That would really be nice. Um, I told you this trailer is aimed at a very specific audience. No Tash on the screen. White straight dude. Darker vibe. It's pretty clear. <laughs> like, I feel like they did it intentionally, but at the same time, it, it, it's a better trailer. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, the silk plus leather plus feather is kind of weird. Just bump up the silk and she's black and purple, not, not red. Uh, no, keep the red because it signals to back to, uh, to, to Morgan's older days. Why did they drop the purple here at all pla places? Yeah, that's weird. Dressing uh, like the dog lords of Ferelden. <laughs> um, to be fair, Morgan was always flat. That's a lie, so we're going to skip that. Um, you look at her sideways and she has nothing. It's all uh, shadow on her bikini thing. She has more uh, tits on the sex scene because uh, they changed her body into a normal human uh, model. Wait a minute. You know, we're going to stick with the human model. Okay. All right. We're going to stick with the human model. All right. All right. We're going to stick with that one. Also, no, no. The side boob was rocking it, bro. The side boob. What, what? We all know the side boob. Okay. The side boob of Morgan was peak. I don't want to hear this mess. We're done. Hey, Justin, how you doing? Wonder if they, uh, got, are going to have Templars in the game. I would really like Templars. If you're a package deal, that guy is as good as dead. <laughs> sorry, bro. Tig tiggled. <laughs> sorry, bro. Tiggled. Uh, Red Lyrium shenanigans. Uh, Red Lyrium. Uh, yeah, definitely Red Lyrium. Well, the clothes uh, doesn't match. You're probably right. Um, dual wield rogue light medium armor. Yep. High level combat in uh, three days. So we'll see in three days. God, why is it taking so fucking long? Just show us. Why you, why, why? So they're going to show us in three days? Bioware, why are you being a bitch? Just show us. This whole teasing thing, teasing works once. Okay? Teasing works once. That's it. If you tease, it is two months. You should be showing us more. Two months, October 31st. You should be showing us I should be, I, I should, I should know the ending by now. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. It's like, I think the blue dragon has a tumor. Yeah, definitely has a tumor on the head. The two dragons are the elven gods, but I think one of the elder gods is like the mother of the abominations. Hence the tumors, I would assume. Are you serious? The two elven gods are just fucking dragons. Are you serious right now? Why can't you just fight the elven gods as elven gods? just have some demonic abomination el elves just come at you and one of the elven gods is just floating and he has a staff and he's just doing stuff you know as his elven goddess side i hope there's two phases where he's like doing like elvish stuff uh, you know doing elvish stuff so you can get a more what's the word i'm looking for that you can get a more um like man to man moment with the elven gods. I mean, this is why I didn't really like Skyrim. I I love Skyrim, but me going around talking to dragons flying around and they won't come down and they're just over there going uba ishaka itumo. And I'm just like, "Bro, how are we how are we going to develop a uh, a, a relationship me and the only dragon that actually mattered was uh was it placidisax Pl placarnasax or whatever the fuck that one dragon is that was on top of the mountain because he actually stayed still and he actually had a conversation with you the other dragons they just came in and just started shouting random shit and just going like can you point me to the nearest cvs I need to pick up my pills. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'll just kill you real quick. 
uh bioware marketing is so inept that i uh expect this uh shit show to occur now yeah a new companion trailer is coming and all what a new companion trailer what what the 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 what's it called the the um the uh david bowie trailer wasn't enough Partying having magic like abilities needs oh no they gave harding a dwarf that doesn't use mat oh no <sighs> they're gir they're girl powering fucking harding out of fucking nowhere that's what they're doing this is what they're doing now i'm just like oh harding har he's like first dwarf lady we're out here being mages getting a fucking photo going i just shot a fireball first dwarf Fem first female dwarf doing magic click <laughs> click hashtag girl power oh god now it makes sense now it makes perfectly good sense oh god i get it now yeah i think it's going to be a second phase or multiple combat thing yeah i hope so it could be a great game press x to doubt but yo they're doing everything to squash enthusiasm uh for a studio that desperately needs a win yeah that's you, you don't want to play games with your audience with with, with like one trailer here and then uh, maybe another trailer in two weeks and then another trailer in two weeks and i'm over here just like sh your first trailer shows you sh like like reveals your your balls your first trailer drop is where every developer goes like oh shit i hope they like it oh shit i hope they like it because normal people they're not out here looking for all the trailers they see one trailer they say like ah eh, it's not for me that's it so you busting out a fucking cgi trailer going i will be king and people don't know what the hell this game is because it's just a companion trailer it's your first trailer for dragon age and i was just like you don't you don't this is not a this is not only a you don't understand your audience this is a you don't know how to market you don't know how to market the harding magic is lore accurate it's uh or related to the titans and the sendals oh the titans way way back then with the the elves uh the uh the high elves their manufacturing trailers which is bothersome this trailer was a w for bioware first uh uh it's well oh, hold on hold on. the trailer is a w for bioware first time they are not uh ratioed on youtube that's good i i, I still like the trailer The views and light. Oh, yeah, let me see. Huh. Yeah. See? See what? What do you think was the thing that, that set off this trailer? I think the thing that set off this trailer was Morrigan. Um. Morrigan. Um. The the giant enemies, how pretty the game is. So I would say those three, Morgan, the CGI look of the game, um, and the monsters. Um, would I say companions? I wouldn't say necessarily. Um, maybe Harding using magic, maybe, maybe. But I think the biggest one. <laughs> I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. And, I, and and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I think the biggest one was just like everybody. No, no. I want to see. I want to see. Claudia Black lied about not returning as Morgan. Uh, yeah, that's all about Morgan. Looks like Harding is wielding the power of the, of the Titan. Maybe the return of the Elven Gods caused the rest of the Titans to wake up. Okay. All right. I'll shut up then. Mate. Okay. I'm a normal person that loves Dragon Age. I forgot about the Titans. I don't know too much about the Lord. You, you got me. You got me. All right. You got me. So I, I, I maybe it'll be interesting. We'll see. There's a massive death flag above Varric. Yeah, Varric ain't here. Varric's dead. 
Morgan wearing her mother's circlet actually makes me nervous. That better not be Flemeth in her skin, or it might be... That's what I was thinking. It's it's Morgan. Morgan is the thing that's bringing up the numbers here. I can't believe Claudia Black actually fooled me into thinking she wasn't coming back. That's such a Morgan move. Yeah. <laughs> Harding's new ability. So Harding and Morgan are the biggest thing. Already, uh, one day the magic will come back. All all of it. Okay. All right. So Harding again. Seeing Solus yelling at the main character and blaming him for interrupting his ritual. I really hope. I get a sarcastic option uh, saying along the lines of maybe stop fucking around with magic. Yeah, I would like that line. I'm not going to lie. It's been 50,000 years. I said that during the Halloween Dia. I don't, I don't know what she's saying. Griffins. Harding. Yep. Harding. Morgan. Harding. Um, sorry. Was that Solus in the wolf form at the end? Ah, that might have... Oh, shit, it was Solus. Holy shit. I didn't think about the wolf that was attacking the dragon. It should have been originally released significantly better. Yes, true. So it was Morgan and Harding. Yep, Morgan and Harding are the biggest things that came out of this. And one person just said enchantment. Yep, that's that's all we need to know about all those posts. Awesome. Awesome. A lot better. A lot better. A lot better. Show some more gameplay. Stop fucking around with your audience. Show us gameplay. The, you, you see all this? You see all this, devs? These are all people that have played your game. These are all people talking about the lore that have played your game. They are giving you thumbs up over this trailer. You need to know right now why that is. That this trailer popped up more than your other trailers and then learn from that from here on out so so you don't go through the same bullshit again if you bring out mass effect if you bring out mass effect and the first trailer is just like that companion trailer it would dragon age and then you're gonna play some queens or some shit like that <laughs> don't stop me now <laughs> something like that then, then we're going to have a problem. You haven't learned anything. <laughs> we're having a good time. You just got two pistols in Mass Effect 4 or 5. Yeah, you... Anyway, we're ended there.